Orbital Hospital it is. Giving us more pop growth. Ah, that makes sense. Let's go with the naval. And we'll go with the research. Battle stations, don't get killed. Victory is ours. Well done, dude. We have the synaptic connection to our ships now. This is not a repeatable, it seems. Just take that. And continue on our way. Oh, let's go with the naval depot. And we'll go with the... Uh, probably the orbital hospital, yes. Orbital hospital... Naval Depot, we founded a new colony, that's always good. And we do need to worry, uh, start worrying a tiny bit about supplies. We know that we need more population. And uh, once we have more population, those jobs will be filled. Oh, Orbital Science Station over there. Let's go take that. More Naval Depots. Orbital Hospital. Museum. Yeah, I don't like this one. Uh, we will go Science. And we will go Hospital. More Naval Cap. Okay, both of them are working now. Oh, we're almost there. Almost there. Naval Depot. Orbital Hospital. This is going to be an interesting base. I'm very interested in seeing what it will do. Uh, I might have to build one or two more. Great. Another research report. Let's go back over here. Let's pause the game for a second. Uh, this is going to be the shipyard. This is going to be trade. Trade depot. And... The lithium. We'll wait with the other one. And we'll upgrade it. Hmm, here we go again. Sorry for that. Our researchers are slowly coming to a st um, startling conclusion concerning the Disharm people themselves. They were... Oh dear lord. Boki Lontemtermic. Meaning their bodies and mental states were highly influenced by, uh, by fluctuations in temperature. This could explain their obsession with the sun and why Masaka, their sun goddess, was so highly uh, tied with, uh, with times of brute actions, sacrifice and war. We arrive at this conclusion from a careful stu a study of the Desharan holographic records of their for, uh, former cities. It is clear that uh, management was paramount. Stone buildings designed to convey heat upwards, large open flowing chambers meant to carefully distribute heat and sunlight. That is really smart. The drastic distinction between the airy and cool airy and cool chambers of Gorgano and their suffoc suffocating fortresses of Masca also now made sense the very uh, agri uh, agritecture of these buildings and the way they challenge um, channeled heat would shape the behavior of everyone in the building. Ready to go. Way to go. Let's see, let's sell you. Sell you. It's about the same. Sell 500. We need more plates. I think we eventually do. We'll, uh, we'll hold on to our money right now. 
you are going to upgrade, which is good. Oh yeah, of course, we were still upgrading our shipyards. Upgrade you. Upgrade. Upgrade. It's already been upgraded. This is still being built. We will change this. This will go back to the bottom. And you are building. So we can build up. And once the meters array is done, we'll get two more star bases. Speaking about the meters array, how are you doing? You are currently at 44%. If I press this, then I'm sure that the... Yeah, there's the Argus uh, structure. We'll get more visibility. And it will cost us 400 plates. But also produces 50 science and the scientist paul stemmers has leveled up to four way to go hopefully jobs oh my jobs we were having 16 we have 15 27 you're the slowest growing pop i've ever ever had um we definitely want to save up for when we get close Look, 25 jobs guys 26, 12, 8. We have so many jobs. Assign a leader. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's go with the uh, Ferengi. Oh, that's the Governor Zack. <laughs> cool. I like him. That is him. Ah, that makes sense. Did we lose anyone else that of importance? He should be very, uh, very finance-oriented. Yeah, influence is going nicely. We're making more than a thousand. We have a diplomatic proposal. In the stamp... Uh, oh, there we go. The, uh, the Dominion is interested in diplomacy right now. And the subjugation integration is beginning... Go ahead. Maybe you can do something. Yeah, for us. okay. So the Kobali will be. Not the Kobali. Someone else eventually. Um, but we have enough now. We, we definitely have enough. If we can get more, I would definitely be in favor. So let me know which one I should check. Maybe these guys offer protectorate status? No? Who are you? Ah, oh, you're not going to end well. I know that for a fact. The Borg will beat you into submission. The Dominion has opened their borders. Does this mean... ...that we have the gate in Bajor? There's no gate in Bajor. So there's the additional Ascension perk. Let's um, take a look on what we have to research. Naval capacity. Psychonics. Crime, sponsorship, let's do that. And let's go to this. Let's take a look. What do we want? World Shaper? No. Sensory range? I don't care about that. Supply speed, evasion, and firing damage. Interstellar Dominion? That is never going to be part of the Federation. Grasping the Voice. Starbase capacity plus five. Always interesting. Star fort um, Space Fortress plus ten. That's, I don't need that. But we have one. Starbase upkeep building and Starbase building plus one. That's an additional slot on all of your buildings. That would be two that I would like. Damage against fallen empires, awakened empires and damage versus the Borg. Now we don't need the Borg. But this is definitely something I would like. It's free. How many can I select? Four. Damn. Unity is not interesting. Admin cap, I don't care about. The either cost and duration, maybe. More envoy. I'm actually trust cap plus 100. Now that is interesting. Yeah. The um, Envoys and Trust Cap we will go for. And we will most likely go for that right now. Because the higher the trust, the more likely it is that we get members into our coalition. 
Let's get that right now. And our friends will be friendlier, but even the ones who are not friendly to us would be uh, interested in us. I can declare war on you. I kind of don't want to. Ooh, okay, like the Klingons, Nev. they um, their trust cap would go up. Trust to a hundred. And this would be almost trust like 200. Uh, we are both researching each other. And we need to annex these two. And hopefully then it's three, five against five. We need one more. Because these subjects will probably vote for me. Kiazi's children. We can now establish an embassy with went. them. And once we start doing that, once they accept, we could protect them. Offer them protective status. Slowly change their ways. Is, uh, is definitely interesting. Who is this? Are you trying to break off the house of Mocha? They have so much internal struggle. And here we go. The Nagera is once again the Springfield as well as the Challengers are retired giving us the um, the steam runner class as well as the saber class opening the door for for something for something uh, cheap like these torpedoes let's take a look at ships Okay, no changes here. Here's the Steam Runner class. Hmm. Seems very bulky, I'm sorry. Here is the Saber class. I believe the um, Section 31 uses these. I'm not, I'm not sure though. We have already seen that. Sovereign, Galaxy, Excalibur, the Defiant, the Luna, California. Oh yeah, that was ugly. Okay, not too many changes. Like I said, I'm not going to change anything just yet. Angela at the okay. ocean. Mm, I think they accepted. Did they refuse? No, they definitely accepted. Kiazi's children, their faces wet. Yeah, yeah, their faces is wet. So your children are crying. It's tough love, man. Form a research agreement with you. The packlets are not there yet. Yo, they are growing. To like us. How about you? Yeah, they would never accept that. We form a research pack with you. I don't I don't really care who gets our research, to be honest. Yeah, they bloody hate us. Well, I, I understand that. It looks like the Bream and the Ferengi war is done. Standing by. Uh, we do have to start work on our fleet at some point. Because it won't be long until they get very annoying. Naval Depot. We can do that twice more. Two more Naval Depots. This one will change and we will go into... I think the Orbital Hospital. There we go. These are upgrading. Can we not upgrade you? No, there's no more upgradation for you. Which is interesting. Well, it's fine. Whatever. How is trade protection looking? Oh dear, yeah, it absolutely is doing an amazing job. 
hope it can hit that. If it does... I would like to build... Like a base over here. Like this way you can see where it go uh, goes to. Okay, fine. What is it that we want? Psionic Society or Engineering Sponsorship. And I believe my engineering is the lowest. So let's go with engineering. Okay, that's the uh, repeatable. Let's go with that. Yeah, look at that strength, man. That's 50,000. Damn. That, that's that's a lot. That is a lot. Are these... Ambassador class. Cruiser 2. Ambassador class. Cruiser 2. Why are we not able to upgrade you, but the others did? Oh, I think they were sooner. Interesting. Also, we're lacking a leader. Let's go with Sylvia Tolly. What would we design our fleet to be? Say we create a new one. Definitely not that. We would start, of course, with the Galaxy class. It is now on auto. How strong? Damage, 841. Maybe not the galaxy, but I feel we need, like, at least one. It's 16. Oh, damn. I'm, I'm surprised that the galaxy... I think there's another upgrade coming in. Uh, we'll have to look into that. I'll, I'll, I'll start doing that, like, next time. I'm sure that I've missed... Like, if I go to the galaxy class... Yeah, that's already extended. Oh, finally the USS Titan has arrived. We have ourselves a flagship again. Way to go. Also, can we upgrade this bit? What would you, I, I like the delegated shuttle one. And let's put you on an extended engineering. Still does a lot of damage though, but it also goes with this. Yeah, this is all ships would gain this. It's just the range that increases it. This is interesting. Okay, battle stations. Victory is ours. I've seen it fail once. Currently, you're at 64. We can actually upgrade this one. Once we have enough of those plates. Uh, there's new phases. Let's go with the engineering transporter tool. And we gain new torpedoes. Just go from top to bottom. And the envoy Azard has died. Damn shame. Damn shame. Okay, we're gaining experience again. He is still the president, which I kind of dislike. How are you feeling, guys? Kiazi's children. Receptive. Their faces wet. 32 still. Well, we'll see how it will go. Standing by. We could improve relations, and they are harming relations. Ah, there's definitely... There, there will be a war. It, it, it will be happening. Uh, we don't have enough to push out another fleet. 
But we do have to start replacing what we have. USS Titan is in here. We can build a fleet around it by the looks of it. So that is nice. So do we have another heroic admiral somewhere hiding? No, I think if we had um, Riker, Riker would be amazing on this ship because I believe he was the commander of the USS Titan. According to the books. Now, there's a lot of Star Trek books, which I've not read, read any of them. Let's give um, this command to... To Kirk. And then the... Is it the fourth fleet? No, it's the second fleet. We'll get ourselves a new leader. There you go. Flexion. Okay, where, where's these guys? Okay, they're starting to rival each other, so that will go to a war. Okay, um, stability plus 10. Always good. Always good on all your planets. Currently, the stability is at a hundred percent. Yeah, that is very nice. 15 jobs still. You could also start giving like food to grow pops. But like I said, I'd, I'd rather make that into a empire thing. Like the greater than ourselves is not interesting now because we just have more jobs available than pops. But it is definitely a very, very good contender. Also, I wouldn't mind getting the illogical uh, this back. The reason I do this right now is we know with the next ascension we're going for a low pickup. Or maybe with enough time we can go for a higher one. But it, it all matters on what it is that we are going to get. This is all going up nicely. This will definitely boost up. We might be able to squeeze out a new fleet uh, with the Titan as its commander. Now, with a Titan, what kind of ships do I want? Not, not the other. Not, not this one. Not the Luna class. But I think they, um, it will have to be it to just to have that. Actually, the Lunar class has a damage of 900. I want the Sovereign class in there. And the Excelsior class. No, this is the Spore class. I don't want the Spore class in here. Sorry. Remove that. The Defiant... Would be nice. Add one of the ships that we would like. We could add the ambassador class, but... I don't know. We have the sovereign class. This is a cruiser. This is an exploration cruiser. Let us just get... This as high as possible. Okay, so the Defiant is not in putting in a dent. Can we add one more? No. Of course, now it comes. I knew, I knew it was going to happen. It always happens with me. Let us... Still add the Defiant... Congratulations on coming back. And we'll add, I don't know, probably like a shuttle. Oh, California class. Brings it up to 347. And a roundabout brings it up to 350. 
we would go over our cap. But still, I think this fleet would be amazing. I think this is a good one. I think this is a good one. But we're not building it up right now. This is 100%. Let us accept them into the Federation. Welcome. Meaning, we will have to find the next one to annex. 14 jobs now instead of 15. Losing XP like we always do. These have been broken. Research. The train officer production plus 10 is definitely in a contest right now. Let's do it. Because eventually this one will be done and I don't need it again. Okay, now we can go with the Fleet Academy. And we have refugees coming in. Uh, more research done. Temporal shock snare. This is what uh, actually brought the, I think, Voyager to the, um, the other way, other side of the galaxy. Go with trade value, five. Moncadir, Sablisur. They wish to establish an embassy. A lot of refugees coming in. Peace offers. And what else? What? Do, oh, here we go. I'm so glad that we didn't do that. It is the Vesta one. I just don't know which which is going to be the final version. Do we not have a, um, a very very brilliant scientist anywhere? Well, she's 111 or 112. We have a manacle. Kind of want someone else, though. Okay, so there was a war which ended badly for them. <sighs> they, they just failed to peace out. Our enemies fear us. They're piecing out due to Perhaps. time and nothing else. I still don't know. that They have every planet. Who are you? He's part of the United Federation. Okay, that's good for you. Now you're a member of the Cosmic Pack, but I could also make you my protectorate. We can offer protection to another empire in exchange for some influence over their internal affairs. Protectorates are guaranteed independence by the overlord, paying 80% less for any technology their overlord knows. And turn into vassals once they reach 50% of their overlord's level. It's the best option for us. I will get as many of those as possible. Um, you're still... F I think it triggered a lot of warring. As you can see, everyone is at war. The Dominion has been explosively heading into this direction. Migration treaty I will definitely go for. Oh, is the Patlet? No. The Kazans? No. Why are the Packlets over here? Yeah, I think they are fighting. Yeah, they're... Subjugated. All I ask is that you admit the possibility that your interpretation is superior. Is wrong. He is no longer that scary. Let's remove all of that. Those numbers look good. They, they, they just don't do peace, which is um, not good. I've. There's a very few amount of peace offers. Mirab, his sails furled. Okay, they broke the their, river their um, the thing again. Construction complete. Let's establish that um, embassy again. Trained officers production. The A please. Admin cap plus fifteen. What else? That is all of the. Guys down here, how about you? Still a thousand. Because they are 
part of the coalition. No. No, they're part of each other's coalition. So that's why they don't want the protectorates. And the so it, it seems like the Sonic Command and the Orions are piecing out. Which would be my protectorate. Did they actually take all of the territory? I think they did. Let the battle commence. Construction complete. Okay. Um, two more to go for the Klingons. Mirab, his sails furled. Establish his embassy. We already have a embassy, right? They accepted that. Okay, what is the Ferengi currently doing? Like they need to peace out. It's been, it's been a galactic war, <laughs> the entire galaxy. We have jobs. No, that is a lie. Let's say uh, that one, and let's turn it off again. Actually, no. Let's go over the planets and just make sure that we focus on this first. Like, specialist jobs, I would really appreciate it if you do that. Just fill in those leader jobs, these ambassador jobs. We can turn this off. What we do is... Okay, that's one. Okay, one more. Okay, now we can fill everything again. Um, because this will actually help my economy. They, they, I don't care that much about my research anymore. And this will be way better for us. And I will have to do that with probably all of my planets. Can I just say, promote yourself? Get those two students out of there. Really? There we go. Shift click to prioritize the number. There we go. I can easily change all of that then. Go here, shift click. And shift click. So that will go up immensely. And yeah, I think with that, I'm going to end this, uh, this stream. Um, not the stream, actually. I'm going to be ending this recording for uh, YouTube and we'll be switching games to for, or X4. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.